Welcome, Lobo Hockey Network, to another episode of Behind the Ice. We are here to with Andrew Tarin. Andrew works for the Lobo Hockey Network. And uh, today we're just going to be talking about the recap of what's going on in Nationals. The day one was exciting as the Lobos entered their first ever national game against the Central Florida Knights. Andrew, let's cover that game real quick. What do you think of how the Lobos did? Um, I think it was very much their style. Like I said, it, it really reminded me of that first game at Colorado School of the Mines. It was back and forth and back and forth. And fortunately, this time we got the, the bounce our mm -hmm. way at the very end. Um, a lot of penalty kills we had to do there in that first game. And, and the Lobos answered the call. I, th I think that uh, they do a good job of killing off the penalties, but I think the main focus, and you can see is in the second game, is we can't always put ourselves in the in the penalty kill position. Right, and let's we'll talk. Let's break down period by period real quick. First period, Central Florida got the first goal of the game. They went up one nothing. James Boston though kept his composure, and pretty much all game kept the Lobos in this. And then we go mm -hmm. to the second period. Lobos get the two answers right away. Starting off with Jackson Farnholtz, a beauty of a shot. What did you think of the second period and how they responded from the first period? Um, I think that if you can hate to say it, but they had those first period jitters. I think it obviously showed a little bit of dust from it had been back since the 3rd of February, I think, mm -hmm. the last time we played. Um, but we did a good job to bounce back um, in that second period. They came out, it almost looked like a completely different team. Um, they came back hard, they hit them hard, and then those two goals within 35 seconds was really, really big. Um, and I think that kind of kept the momentum going and and after that point, every time uh, they got scored on, they had an answer. Right. Mackenzie Smith answered with that second goal. He got it in beautifully. Great slap shot, found it on the top left corner, and it went in. Then Central Florida, just a few minutes later, tied it back up. We go into the third period now. Lobos, though, had nine penalties in this game. Luckily, our penalty kill was 100%, nine for nine in this game. I think that's what kept us from losing this game mm -hmm. was the penalty, penalty kill unit, as well as James Boston. Yeah, the penalty kill was phenomenal, but I mean, it's been phenomenal all year long. Right. If you look at, especially that uh, second game up there in Colorado School of the Mines, uh, we killed off a couple, I, th I think almost four minutes, a little under four minutes of five on three. And they killed that off beautifully. Um, like I said, our penalty kill is phenomenal, but we just got to stop putting ourselves in the box. Lobos went up 3-2 early in the third period. Later, with just a few minutes left, Central Florida ties it up. We go into overtime, and then that's when Graham Chison who is the game hero, put it in the back of the net off a rebound, and the Lobos get their first victory in the national tournament, 4-3, to three, and they they were celebrating. I mean, it was just a great goal and that, a great time. That was by far the best portion of hockey was the overtime period. We came out, and you could tell the Lobos wanted it. They wanted to end it. They did not want the tie. They did not want to let, let it drag on to later in overtime. There was a, a play right before that where the puck ended up sliding and almost slid into the net mm -hmm. that the defender cleared out. And then within, I think, a minute of that, we finally got the goal. Um, I know I scared a few people at work because I slapped the desk and just jumped up. Woo! I think that was everybody. I know I was at work, and I was screaming at the top of my lungs. And, you know, we have our photographer, Sandra. She was at work screaming at the top of her lungs. And But this is the excitement. And we posted the score. It's one of our biggest posts ever. I think we had 116 likes. Uh, low, New Mexico was loving it. This is what New Mexico needed, especially since the basketball team didn't make the NCAA tournament. The Lobos were the hope for New Mexico, and they delivered on the first game. Yeah, no, it was a phenomenal outcome, exactly what we wanted to see. Um, fast forward a little bit to that second game. Obviously not the outcome we were looking for, so let's, uh, let's break that one down. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. And uh, First of all, the Quinnipiac beat Michigan State, who was the number one ranked team. So yes. coming to this one, they were already high on their horse, and the Lobos were also riding a high horse. Lobos getting start great start. Mm -hmm. uh, Nate Tagliagami putting in the back of the net, one nothing, but then it just was a flood for for Quinnipiac, and they just opened those floodgates and they just let the the, the Braves ride in. Yeah, that first period, uh, I really was nervous when I looked at the score of the uh, the game last night to see that they did beat Michigan State. Um, Period one, though, they did a good job keeping it even flow. We got the goal first, put us put ourselves ahead. Um, unfortunately, let in a not so, I would say, easy goal. Uh, but uh, that first period, I was like, okay. I, I think all, all of Lobo Nation felt good there. Felt like, hey, we're in this. It's the first period. Okay, let's get in the second period. Let's see what happens. Yeah, unfortunately, just the second period happened and it was just, 
it was a crazy period. Nine goals scored total. Nine. Nine were scored. But unfortunately, seven of them just happened to be Quinnipiac. And it, it just seemed like the Lobos were shaking. You know, the Quinnipiac was starting to hit. New Mexico just felt like they were rushed most of the game, just trying to make saves. But unfortunately, James Boston just couldn't handle it. And then they substituted Antonio Santiago in. They, it, that's a rough start for a backup goalie when you're going in and the score's already 6-2. to two. You know, so. Well, you know, at that point, yeah, it is tougher to come in as the, the backup goalie. But there was a point there when the Lobos did get that first goal. They came back and they got the second one almost instantly. Yeah. And then that cut the, I think, the lead to four. Maybe? Yeah, it was seven to three when seven we got the third goal. And, and I was like, okay, this is it. We just need to get another one because the Lobos are a high-scoring team. Many times we've seen where we've just loaded on teams in the third period, second period. So I was hoping, like, hey, there was still that chance and, and the Lobos can play that style of hockey. And, and they were with them. They, they played neck and neck with Quinnipiac, I, I think, in that first period to show that they could do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's just, yeah, you know, after you start losing some of that momentum, you could see how big of a shift that happens there. Well, so. we saw a lot of frustration, especially with New Mexico. Isaac Dunwoody, unfortunately, with the five-minute major misconduct, he was ejected out of the game. Mm-hmm. I think that hurt New Mexico. They were down mm-hmm. a man. And we don't have a deep bench like some of these other teams do. Mm-hmm. And I think losing Dunwoody hurt us a lot. Chant Shanks went out early in the mm-hmm. second period with an injury, but he was right back in. But you could just tell the Lobos were frustrated because the penalties after penalties after penalties. And that's when Quinnipiac got their goals is off the power plays. The Lobos were 9 for 9 the night before, unfortunately, only 4 for 9 uh, today. And that is what hurt them the most. Absolutely. The, the penalty kill just couldn't be perfect again. Like I said, I think we just need to keep ourselves out of the box. Um, no reason to hang our head, though. Obviously, uh, a chance to move on is pretty astronomical right now. But... The fact that Lobos have finally done it, made it here to Nationals, they won the first game, and both teams are pretty much playing with nothing to lose in this final game. So I think tomorrow is going to be a great game and a good chance for Lobos to make a statement to the country and say, hey, we are here. And we'll you, be back. We'll be yeah. back. Yeah. yeah, they'll definitely be back. I think Grant's got this team right where he wants them. You know? mm-hmm. And I think that's what, what hurt New Mexico the most is they didn't have the experience of being a Nationals team compared to these other teams. We've mm-hmm. seen Quinnipiac there before. We've seen Central Florida there. Unfortunately, just New Mexico, this is their first time. So, of course, jitters, nervousness, and it, it, you could see it in that second period. The third period, a lot better on defense, but unfortunately letting those three goals in. Uh, so we'll see what, how the Lobos respond tomorrow. As you said, big big school. This is a big game, Michigan State. And uh, don't forget to join us tomorrow. We'll be at Howie's uh, sports page over on Montgomery. Uh, we'll have our huge watch party. It's going to be the last one of the year, watch party-wise, over there. But you know what? Like you said, it's astronomical, but it, it's possible. There still is a yes. chance New Mexico can get in. Here's what needs to happen. We need uh, Quinnipiac to lose big time tomorrow. At least by seven goals. Six, or six seven goals tomorrow. Uh, necessarily that much. A loss. A loss, uh, we just need to shift the goal differential. Um, for us, a shutout is best. And then a nine-goal differential to make up the eight-goal differential we had today. Um, but honestly, I think the boys shouldn't think about that as much as think about let's come out, let's play our game. Uh, Michigan State is high-paced, very fast. Um, whooped up on Central Florida today. And, and, and played tough with Quinnipiac, and, and we know we could run with any of the teams in the pool. I think we surprised a lot of people. I know when you hear the announcer um, announcing the games, they were surprised to yeah. see us. And I think that we made a statement here, and I think we need to continue to build on that. So regardless of what happens, whether we advance or not, I think tomorrow, it's, it, for us, it still is it's our championship. Yeah, it's, it's our game to go out there and say, hey, let's win this one. For, for the fans back home, let's win this one for ourselves. Let's win this one because we got here. This is us. Yeah, and I think that's what the players need to remember. A lot of them were putting the blame on themselves mm-hmm. on their personal Facebooks. No need to think like that whatsoever. You are New Mexico's champions because you, th- you've done something that no other New Mexico hockey team has done before, and that's mm-hmm. get here to this position. And it's it's a big stage. You're in front of our game's got at least 2,000 views, you know. So you're in, in front of a national stage when coming on to here. Unfortunately... You know, it may not end up the way we wanted it to, but you know what? At least we got here. And, you know, the Pacific is a tough region. You got you had Michigan State, and or, or excuse me, Pool B was Michigan State and Central Florida, Quinnipiac, big-name schools. Um, 
and it's good to see the other Pacific team, Air Force, doing mm -hmm. so well. They were 2-0 yes. in this. Um, but tomorrow is a big one. And I, I think we could do it. I really think. If the Lobos play, they, they did in game one against Central Florida. Mm -hmm. I think we can handle this. Um, I, I think what they need to do is they need to go and have that same mindset they had in between the Colorado uh, School Mines games. We lost off an ugly deflection in that game. Um, we were in that game. We were dominating that entire game, and then we lost. Now, obviously, that game is different from the game we played today, but whatever they did that night to clear it out of their minds and come back for that next game, we came back and we whooped up on Colorado School of the Mines. Ate nothing. Okay, yeah. so they need that same mindset, that same clear, hey, let's step back. Let's take a break here. Let's take a breather. Um, Grant needs to reorganize the guys and say, hey, let's get back in there and let's go win this one. Let's not worry about making it to the next level. Let's not worry about what happens if we score nine goals or if we don't score eight goals. Let's go out there and just play our game. So show everyone who thought that um, Michigan State was going to win the pool that, hey, they were wrong. Yeah. And give it up to, to all the other teams. Central Florida played us good. Quinnipiac, I mean, they're the, they weren't even picked. They were, they were picked to be the doormat of this pool. And most likely they're going to be the ones taking this. But mm -hmm. no giving up hope yet, Lobo fans. So keep your heads high. And to the Lobos, my message to you is you guys did great. You guys are, this was a magical season. Mm -hmm. And we are glad that we are part of this ride because you brought so much hope to New Mexico. Yeah, I um, hope to see us, uh, regardless of what happens, let's build on this success this season, take it into next, and I want to see the Lobos back there next year, the year after that, and, mm -hmm. and just continue to bring that success. All right, so hopefully the Lobos uh, can watch this before their game. If not, it's okay, because you guys get to watch it, and you'll be joining us at Howie's. Uh, we're, they're going to have some drink specials out there, so... We're going to be, they got the tables all set up for us, and it's going to be great. We're going to have a great time with you guys. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Please be there at 6 p.m. That way you guys can order some food, get your drinks, and not have to worry about missing any of the game. Um, it's going to be a great Nationals, and I think, uh, I, you know, just to, maybe the Lobos don't go, but I'm going to put my money on Hope and Oakland to make it to the, uh, to the championship because Hope is just... I, I'm going to go Maybe with Central Michigan. Central Michigan, yeah. yeah. I'm going to say I'm going to go with Central Michigan and uh, Air Force. Air I Force. Wanna, I mean, it'd be nice to see them make it and to know that we ran with the team and we've ran with the team in the previous seasons that made it this far. Yeah. All righty, Lobo Hockey Network fans, don't forget to tune in. The game starts at 6.30 on YouTube. We, we will post a link on our Facebook page. That way you guys can tune in uh, if you can't join us on Howie's. As for me and Andrew, you guys have yourselves a great night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow at Howie's. Take care, everybody. Have a good night.